Chicago and the Philippines. A comprehensive review of the week's special community events, featuring many exciting personalities handled by the most professional Chicago Philippine Reports TV staff. Good afternoon and welcome to the Chicago Philippine Reports TV, still the number one Filipino show in the Midwest. I'm Grady Pasqual. Welcome to our show. Today we have all the top stories from the Philippines. We also have what's happening in our own Filipino-American community of Chicago. We have interesting interviews led by our very own executive producer, Ms. Veronica Layton. We have Bridget Cotero Carino. All these are coming up and more. Afterward from our sponsors, please stay with us. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 901-245-4874. That's 901-245-4874. 901-245-4874. That's 901-245-4874. Philippine households pay the National Grid Corporation of the Philippines 2 pesos and 75 centavos per kilowatt hour for its promised transmission projects. This additional charge was part of the NGCP's 52 billion peso transmission charge collection for year 2022. But the Senate Energy Committee discovered the NGCP's non-stop collection has yet to be matched by completed projects. Bawat grid po, isang, which are the three main grids, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, iisa po ang rate niyan across the board, pare-pareho po sa lahat ng customers namin. Kaya po nagbabago yan kasi yung profile ng kada customer na DU, uh, nagbabago po. Delayed ang projects nila, pero sinisingil na nila yon sa mga consumers na ang dahilan ay ginagastos sa naman na nila. Tapos, Ang sinisingilan ang mga consumers ay kailangan nating nagbabayad kahit hindi pa natin napapakinabangan ang serbisyong iyon. At the hearing, the Energy Regulatory Commission reported the status of 348 NGCP projects with 33 projects in Luzon, 19 in Visayas, and 14 in Mindanao all remain unfinished. They're allowed to collect for these projects, correct? Despite not being completed. In other words, parang ginigisa tayo sa sarili nating mantika. Baka mapababa pa natin yung presyo ng kuryente if we remove all those delayed projects. In 2019, NGCP registered 20 billion pesos net income. 15 billion pesos went to shareholders' dividends. 2014, ang kinita ng NGCP umabot sa 22 billion. Tama? Yes. Pero... Ang ibinayad sa mga shareholders ay 24 billion. Ho. Ano to? Paano nangyari to? Our profits or dividends are taken from retained earnings which have accumulated over the years. So it's not the one is the one po kung ano yung declare for this year does not necessarily come solely from the profits earned. Uh, for that particular year. Meanwhile, concerns about the need to let go of NGCP's control over system operations and its transmission operation performance were also raised in consideration to the country's national security. It's because the NGCP is using DESCADA, or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition Technology, according to Dr. Wally Del Mundo of the University of the Philippines College of Engineering. Del Mundo claims SCADA is the same technology used used by Russia to target Ukraine. In fact, ang ginawa pa ng hacker ay uh, dinisable yung control engineer mismo na nasa control center, hindi niya, maga, hindi na niya makontrol. At isa-isa, yung mga circuit breaker po ay is, napapanood na lang niya na uh, in, uh, sinuswitch off. Ang nangyari po sa Ukraine, magkadikit po yung SO nila. 
dun sa IT, sa corporate network. Ang NGCP po, standalone yung SO natin, Mr. Chair, hindi po nakakabit sa internet yung uh, OT natin, operating network yung sa SO. Kaya yung mang nangyari po sa Ukraine, hindi po mangyayari dito. Protected po kami among others by an air gap. Del Mundo, among the famers of the Philippine Grid Code, says the NGCP failed to address brownouts in the country. Ang responsibility ng system operator under the Grid Code na hindi tayo dapat nakaka-brownout. The Senate Energy Committee is now eyeing to clip NGCP's rule and amend certain provisions of the Electric Power Industry Reform Act or EPIRA law with the hope of reducing electricity prices in the country. Transportation Under Secretary Roberto Lim says NAEA-3's outdated electrical equipment has exceeded its life expectancy. Amid this, a short circuit is seen to be one of the causes of the power outage last May 1st. This was among the preliminary findings of the Interagency Committee investigating the incident. The findings were disclosed in Wednesday's resumption of a House panel probe. The preliminary findings on May 1 indicate that the outdated electrical equipment in NAIA Terminal 3 uh, is already beyond its life expectancy. From point of construction, it is more than 20 year old. Lim adds the interagency body also identified weaknesses in aea 3s technical manpower and inadequacies in its tools and equipment. The terminal has only two electrical engineers and 27 technicians who have limited competencies to conduct maintenance of high voltage equipment. To address this, tech personnel will undergo training and upskilling and the Manila International Airport Authority is looking to outsource to a third party the operation and maintenance of the EA's high-voltage equipment. MIA officer in charge Brian Ko told the House panel they are already finalizing the terms of reference and the target is to get it published next month. Some lawmakers, however, raised concerns. The quickest way that we can ensure coverage is uh, to get po a third party ONM to manage uh, our high-voltage equipment. But we agree po that we need, of, of course, we need our in-house capabilities to, to improve as well. Kaya po ang mga personal natin ngayon, pinapadala natin sa necessary trainings para po mag-upskill. Why would you consider outsourcing it when in fact uh, uh, yung agency na maka-hire ninyo na mag-outsource, pwede niyang isabotahe yun? There is a TOR that is being prepared uh, for the selection of this third party. And uh, part of that would be the eligibility of the candidates. Number two would be their track record. Number next would be generally they are well-established names when it comes to uh, undertaking these activities. Another challenge seen by the Interagency Committee is the failure of naia 3s contractor Takenaka to turn over to the government naia 3s as-built plans which would have guided MIA in the preventive maintenance of the terminal. How can we have a comprehensive audit without the presence of the Asbel plant, sir. We are totally blind on the system of Terminal 3. But the DOTR assured lawmakers it has communicated with and secured commitment from Takenaka regarding the turnover of naia 3's construction sketches, plans and drawings expected to arrive next week. On the possibility that the power outage was caused by deliberate acts or negligence, Lim says the committee is still investigating the matter. But Mia says it has already beefed up security in Naia's power source generator and vital facilities with additional fixed guards, CCTV cameras and roving personnel. We would say that there is a weakness in the uh, protocols and the procedures adopted in place but not amounting to negligence because you know the the processes the procedures are are that is available to them the interagency committee is expected to come up with updated findings on the first week of june Imagine, this is your money, and someone wants to take it from you. Who is it? The IRS. Guess what? They want your money, and they can take it, all of it if they want. 
Remember, they sent you that letter right over here that said, hey, you owe us a bunch of cash and we're gonna take it from you right now. So what do you do? You fight back by letting our team of experts work it out with the IRS so you can keep your money. And hey, we're good at what we do. When you hire us, you get a team of guys on your side that know the IRS laws and will fight really hard to save your money. So if you owe the IRS a ton of cash and you want to keep it, call right now and learn for free how we can help you put it back in your pocket. Five minutes of your time right now can save you thousands of dollars. And the best part, it's a free call. So please call right now. Do you need to get your hands on some extra money right now? Maybe $25,000 or more? If you're a homeowner, now is a perfect time to get cash out, while homes in many neighborhoods like yours have gone up in value. You can use the money for anything. It's yours. You can buy an investment property, pay for college, pay off higher interest debt, or make home improvements. A cash out refinance is the perfect solution to get the cash you need. If you need $25,000, $50,000, or even $100,000, now's the time. Home values are up, and so is your equity. We offer you a way to use it. No need to sell your home or use your savings. Call New American Funding now and speak to a cash out refi specialist and see how much cash out you can get. Call New American Funding at 855-332-3929. That's 855-332-3929. Call 855-332-3929. Via Times, vital news, vibrant views for the Filipino-Asian communities in Chicago. Via Times, for your most interesting and exciting reading and your party coverages. Via Times has very interesting columnists. You name it, Via Times has it. Law, Filipino news, dentistry, immigration, humor, serious opinions, health, beauty, mysticism, bata corner, showbiz, and intelligent written editorials. Call Via Times at 773-866-0811. Magandang hapong po sa inyo lahat and welcome to Veronica's segment of the show. Today, I have a very interesting person, uh, a book author, and uh, let's listen to what she has written about in her new book. And I would like to introduce to you, Miss Elena, um, um, I mean, Alana, Miss Alana Stott. Did I say it right? Did you said it perfect. Hold on. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Uh, welcome to our show, Alana. And I'm here to talk about her new book entitled um, How to Ask for Money. Yes. Did you hear that? How to Ask for Money. And I, uh, me personally, really, is having a hard time asking for money most of the time. And, um, and I don't know the feeling about asking for money and uh, it depends upon the situation I guess and help me welcome this Al 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 Alana Stott. <laughs> yes. Hi Alana I'm sorry I, I got uh, my tongue twisted in pronouncing your name. Oh no you done it perfectly. Elena's name is very popular in our language so Alana is uh, quite unusual but uh, I love it it's a beautiful name. Thank you. And uh, welcome to our show, Alana. Okay, in this uh, new book that you have, um, How to Ask for Money, uh, well, what made you write a book like this? Um, it was actually a conversation I was having with a, a business colleague once, and he was um, discussing a business opportunity that he had, and then he told me that he was nervous about the next step which was asking for for money and I said what well, what were you nervous about he says I hate asking for money and, and he said do you not and I said no I don't mind it at all and he said Alana everyone hates asking for money and I said well you know over the years um 20 plus years of working in in fundraising and collecting money um I'd learned various different methods of how to do it and how to do it well so he said to me you should write a book so that's what I done <laughs> Yeah, okay, you're uh, writing about your personal experience. 
um, in um, asking for money, what made you um, kind of fearless uh, in asking money? Well, so I started. Um, well, I started my working career when I was eleven, and then I was working door to door sales. So I was a traveling salesperson when I was about eighteen or nineteen. So it was a lot of just knocking on doors and asking people to buy things from me. So I learned at that stage, and then. When I moved into, um, when I was about 19, I got a job as a, a debt collector. So that was, again, just going around to people's homes um, who were, you know, due money to people. And then just, I, I approached it slightly differently, though, because a lot of people, when they're in debt, they get these angry people coming around trying to get money from them. I, I wanted to do it a different way. So I would work out budget plans with people and work out why they were in debt and what the problems were. And I would go through that with them. So I would actually come up with a plan um, to help them out of debt. So we worked, I would work on that together with them. And then I've always worked in fundraising in some way, shape or form. So, so charity has always been an important part of what I do. So I in 2016 my husband decided to cycle a bike from Argentina to Alaska so I became the fundraiser for that campaign and I raised um over a million dollars for a uh, charity but also over half a million dollars for sponsorship um so I just during those times and along the way I just perfected the art I guess of asking for money and I put it together in a formula so the formula that I created was called maps um, and that's basically just mindset accountability planning and strategy and if you get those four areas correct I found that every time they it works for when it comes to asking for money with, with this strategy you're talking about uh, which you develop of uh, it just uh, and now uh, about your book, you just uh, we are just talking about uh, raising money from uh, the business sense of the of the name, right? Not not personal. I mean, it works for everything, really. How to ask for money is the name of the book, but really, it can be adapted into anything that you need in life, really, because. When we're looking at the ask, often we'll just go so straight into the ask and we're forgetting everything else around it, who we're asking, why we're asking, what we're asking. Um, so the, the MAPS plan is really about getting yourself into the right mindset. So it might be that you're asking to borrow money from your mom and dad. It might be that you're asking to start a business with someone or that you're wanting donations for a, for a cause. Um, you have to be in that right mindset to before you go in there. Um, so the book really does talk about how to get yourself into that that proper state of mind. And then we talk about accountability, which is a lot of people, maybe they're asking for a pay rise from their, their job and they'll just say, I want a pay rise. But there's no personal accountability in that as to, to why they want the pay rise and what, you know, what they feel like they deserve, why they feel they deserve it. So I really go a lot into being accountable for what you're saying and what you're doing. And then the planning section is really about, so for example, if you're if you're looking for investment in a company, you really have to make sure that that you've really planned this pitch and um, that the presentation's good, that you've you've addressed both your needs and their needs. So we really do go into a full um section on how to plan, which is really about who, what, where, why, when for each section. And then the strategy section is just about how to pull all that together and really give yourself the best shot when you're asking for it. So it could be something as simple as asking for a loan from your parents straight through to asking for a billion dollars for an investment in a company. I think if you put it into any area, it'll work. So everything, um, uh, it's a recap that the maps... MAPS methodology that you develop is has been um, around this concept, right? Yeah, yeah, and it was it was obviously to try maps. You know, maps were created originally as a way of helping people navigate around the world. I guess so. It made sense to me to kind of put the same methods into what we were doing here to give people a bit of a structure into into how to ask for money. Um, and I think a huge part of the book I talk about is overcoming your fears and because it is a big fear and, and 
putting this practice into place gets rid of some of that fears for you. So maps is a big section of the book, but we also talk about finding your correct motivations, addressing your fears, um, how not to ask for money is a big, big chapter in there. Um, and then there's a lot of extra little bits on knowing your value, knowing your worth, things like that. So I, I go quite deep. <laughs> you are such a young person for me, as far as I'm concerned, uh, to develop such a very, uh, very important and topic such as uh, raising money. And um, I I wonder how you got started. Well, I was, um, I started working when I was 11. I was raised by a single mom. So if we wanted anything, we would have to work for it, you know, so um we I worked in fast food places and and telemarketing pretty much any job that I could get where I could get um extra cash I would do um I was in sales by 14 and then unfortunately my mum passed away when I was 15 so I had my my younger brother to raise and you know money was in incredibly important to us to put to put food on the table and pay the bills so I had to learn, I guess, pretty young how to look after a family. Um, I became a bank manager by the time I was 25. So that was in the middle of the, the recession in 2008. So I, I had to really learn fast about about money and, and everything that was going on in that, that sector. So um, and then my husband, I married my husband and I met him in 2009. Um, we moved into the security world, which which is something we still work in actually, but philanthropy is probably our biggest thing. Everything that we do has got some sort of give back element. So I, I felt that because of my success in raising money and the funds that I've raised, I, I wanted to share how I do it because I feel that anybody who can learn um, to do some something, as long as you know that you're using the money for good and to make the world a better place, I'm happy. You have a uh, very exciting news coming up, and uh, sometime in July you will be receiving an honor, some kind of an honor from King Charles. Yeah, please tell us. Right, uh, you know, I'm really uh, very curious to know about this. Can you please tell our viewing audience about this? Yeah, I was awarded it in the New Year's Honours list. It's um, a member of the most excellent order of the British Empire. It's an MBE. It is. So, um, yeah, I was really pleased to get that. I received that for my work with vulnerable women and uh, mental health awareness. So um, you, the, I believe the mental health awareness is to do with the funds raised. Um, and the vulnerable women is my other area that I work in. So I have another book called She Who Dares, and that's my memoirs book. And that is based on... Um, all the work that I do in that area of helping women so whether it's evacuating people out of Afghanistan I, I do a lot of work in fighting human trafficking and um, looking after children online anything that is about protecting women and girls I work in those areas so I go back to Edinburgh in Scotland in July to collect that medal. Oh wonderful congratulations well you know, and um, I I would like to hear more about this award or honor they are being given to you. Please keep us updated. And mm -hmm. also, let's talk about uh, an upcoming book or other books that you have published. Yeah, so How to Ask for Money is my business book. And then I have She Who Dares, which was my memoirs book. So that's just about my life and, and up till now. I also have three children's books. Um, Probably the most interesting one here would be... um me and my friends play which is a a book that I wrote as an immigrant to the U.S. myself I moved here uh, less than three years ago um I was super interested to see the dynamics of how the USA works with all the different communities and I wrote this book and it's basically five different communities so we've got um a family from Africa a family from the Philippines a family from India Mexico and um uh, a, a U.S. citizen actually so we've got um, all five of those community and we go back to their their home country so we go back to the Philippines in one of the sections and we talk about um, things like purple ice cream and all sorts of different things it's very it's a it's, it was a really cool book to write because I got to learn about the top five um, immigrants to the U.S. as well at the same time and then it's just about bringing kids together and just celebrating each other's cultures really. 
All right. Very good, Alana. Um, terrific. Um, and uh, everything, all your, the works that you've been doing are just so wonderful, uh, serving the whole wide world out there. And um, okay, I thank you for gracing our show today. And uh, please us updated about your other upcoming events or uh, 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 book series that uh, you're planning to write. Okay. I will, Veronica. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Okay, Alana. I thank you for gracing our show today. Thank yeah. you. We'll see you later or in the future. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Do you need to get your hands on some extra money right now? Maybe 25000 or more? If you're a homeowner, now is a perfect time to get cash out while homes in many neighborhoods like yours have gone up in value. You can use the money for anything. It's yours. You can buy an investment property, pay for college, pay off higher interest debt, or make home improvements. A cash out refinance is the perfect solution to get the cash you need. If you need 25,000, 50,000, or even 100,000, now's the time. Home values are up and so is your equity. We offer you a way to use it. No need to sell your home or use your savings. Call New American Funding now and speak to a cash out refi specialist and see how much cash out you can get. Call New American Funding at 855-332-3929. That's 855-332-3929. Call 855-332-3929. Magandang hapo po sa inyo lahat and welcome to Veronica's segment of the show today. I have a very exciting personality uh, for the occasion of the Asian American Pacific Islander Month for, for this month of May. And I invited Miss Ashley Johnson, who is the founder of Mahalo Iwer uh, from Hawaii. Right. Um, you're from Hawaii, right? Um, yes, yes. I'm from Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, well, um, I invited her here today because uh, uh, she and other uh, friends or other uh, other um, women in um, ent entrepreneur women in the beauty business are donating something to for the occasion of the Asian American Heritage Month. And healthy welcome, Miss Ashley Johnson. Hi, oh, Ashley. how are you? Good, how are you, Veronica? Thank I'm you so much for show. having me. Thank you, Ashley thank you. Is the um, founder of the Mahalo Iwer, and she will be talking to us today about the beauty box the beauty box that they are donating uh, for the occasion of the Asian American Heritage Month. I, I, I uh, Ashley, welcome to our show. Thank you, thank you. Can I tell you about the box? So we made a AAPI box. It's, um, sorry, it's hard to show it, but it says AAPI are beautiful, courageous, playful, and strong. And the sides say anything is possible when you come together to support one another. And it is a really good deal. So for $170, you get $270 worth of products. So it's $100 off. And um, it has products from Edom. It's a, a cleansing balm. It has Euphoria. All of these are AAPI founders. This is $38 primer. She got a deal on Shark Tank um, from Mark Cuban. This is a mascara by Tower 28. Kofi eyeliner. Tatcha um, blotting papers, a Mount Lai Gua Sha, and um, socks and scrunchies from Girlfriend Collective, and then a um, makeup bag or swimsuit bag or travel bag by um, Mohala Eyewear and Aloha Collection. So all Asian American Pacific Islander founders and 100% of the profits will go to AAPI Women Lead which is a nonprofit um, helping to fight um, violence against the, the AAPI community and um, discrimination. And they work in solidarity with, with all communities of color. So um, yes, it's a really good cause to support. And you also get a great deal, $100 off 
of all the products. And the box was inspired by, um, I have a picture of her. I cut it out after she won, but Michelle Yeoh winning um, Best Actress in the first time in 95 years that an Asian American or an Asian has won a um, an Oscar. And so we, we have a card dedicated to her. It says, dream big, dreams do come true, um, which is her quote from her Oscar speech. Um, and then it tells info on how to use all the products in the box um, as well. Um, so yeah, yes. Thanks for asking about it, Veronica. And I design Mohala eyewear. So most eyewear in America is made for a narrow Eurocentric face shape and it's leaving out all the different ethnicities. And so I studied eyewear designed in other countries and found that eyewear in other countries was being made for their population's face shapes. So we have a elevated nose bridge, so it does not rest on your cheeks. It doesn't slide down your face. It doesn't hit your lashes. And it's really designed to fit um, not just Eurocentric face shapes and um, inclusive eyewear design. And we also donate a week of school to girls for every pair of eyewear sold. And we've donated 160 years of school to um, Room to Read girls education programs so far. All right, fantastic. Ashley, Thanks. why are you doing this? Why are, are you why are you giving uh, this beauty box uh, to uh, to the AAPI? Yes, we we wanted to do something to celebrate Michelle Yeoh's win and also to, you know, come together and show solidarity across the AAPI community. Um we know we can make a bigger impact when we come together um and we can make a bigger impact in, in culture and in business to be more inclusive and to have more representation. And so, um, yeah, our reason for doing the box is to, to donate to AAPI Women Lead. Um, they have set a goal of $50,000 to, to raise this month for AAPI Heritage Month. So we wanna support that. And we also did it to um, show solidarity across the, the AAPI founder community and give people a great deal of, um, you know, you're getting $100 off um, a $270 box and, and you have all these essentials for summer to get ready for summer. Ashley, what inspires you for doing uh, this thing? I yeah, I... For this oh, month of Asian American Heritage Month. I would say like people, honestly, people who inspire me are a lot of the people in our box, um, the creators in, in our box, a big um, mentor and inspiration to me is um, the founder of Tatcha, um, Vicky Sai. And um, she's become like a mentor and um, really is paying it forward to the AAPI community. Um, but I would say I find inspiration in other um, AAPI founders and in, in um, things that come together to lift up the AAPI community. Um, and and as, as an example, I, Michelle Obama wrote in her book, um, in life, it's hard to dream about what's not visible. And so I think, you know, if, if we didn't grow up with a lot of examples of successful AAPI women in business or, or leading companies, um, the women in this box are giving me an example of what is possible and and men there's a, there's a man in the box too um and and that really inspires me to be able to um, follow in their footsteps well, what makes those products uh, are those products that uh, can be bought from uh, other uh, uh, department stores or uh, beauty stores Yes, yes. They are, Edom is available at Sephora. Um, Tatcha is available at Sephora. Um, Euphoria is available at um, Ulta Beauty. And um, these two are also both available at Sephora. So a lot of the beauty products are available at Sephora. Um, and then I know Girlfriend Collective is available at Nordstrom. And um, Mohala Eyewear is available at Nordstrom. And um, I think Mount Lai is, is more available on mountlai.com on her website and her social social media handles. So yes, you can shop a lot of these products at Sephora, Nordstrom, Ulta Beauty um, as well. 
Can you mention to us the names of the other women who are doing this uh, uh, and putting together the beauty box? Absolutely. Thank you for asking. So Edom is launched by Alice and Marie, and um, they are an inclusive skincare company. So a lot of skincare is designed for um, Eurocentric skin. And so they're really designing for like all people of color um, in skin. And then Girlfriend Collective is by um, Elle and um, her husband. They launched this, um, this, it is a sustainable athleisure brand um, and it's, it's available at Nordstrom. Um, and Tatcha is by Vicky Sai. Um, she is the founder of Tatcha and she, um, she recently sold Tatcha for um, over half a million to um, Unilever, which is a, a really success, really big success for an AAPI founder. Um, and then we have Euphoria is by Fiona. She was the one on Shark Tank and she got a um, deal from Mark Cuban. And he's the, her first, his first beauty brand deal. She's available at Ulta. And then Kofi is by Priyanka. She's also available at Sephora. She's a South Asian founder, um, beauty founder. And then Tower 28 is by Amy Liu. She is also available at Sephora. Um, she is a skincare brand for sensitive skin. And then this hair clot is by Steffi Lin Sai. She's a New York City muralist. She's also um, worked for Harry Styles, the celebrity Harry Styles, did some custom work for him at his house. This is by Stephanie. She is the gua sha guru. Um, and she makes gua sha in um, jade. And this is a stainless steel gua sha. Um, and she teaches you how to use it on Instagram and TikTok at, at Mount Lai. Um, she learned from her grandmother. And then Aloha Collection is by um, Heather and Lena Alla and me, Ashley Johnson. We did a collab product, um, this great travel bag. And it has all of our um, logos on the inside. Yep, and all of these founders are um, are AAPI, um, are part of the AAPI community. And I want to say his name correctly, but Girlfriend Collective is L and Quang Din. L and Quang Din, husband and wife, are founders of this brand. Um, so yeah, thanks for asking. My goodness, that's really almost complete. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> How much does that box cost? The box cost $170 and the full retail value is $270. So you get $100 off of retails for the box. Plus 100% of the profits are donated to AAPI Women Lead um, of the box sales. All right. Very good. Where, where could we find uh, those products? Yes, you can shop the box at mohalaeyewear.com backslash AAPI box. Um, mohalaeyewear.com backslash AAPI box. You can also shop the box on our um, Instagram at, at mohalaeyewear, M-O-H-A-L-A eyewear. Um, and then also Instagram or TikTok at mohalaeyewear, M-O-H-A-L-A eyewear. Thanks, Veronica, for yeah, asking. We just, uh... Uh, can we have access to the beauty box only for this month of May? Or yeah, um, good question. No. Yeah, it's it's we we're just May. It's just available for May, so it's a limited edition box. And um, once we 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 sell out of it, it will be gone. <clears throat> Terrific. Okay. Thank you so much for gracing our show today, um, Ashley. And uh, would you like to um, greet some of our Asian American friends out there before we yes. sign off? Yes, th thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Veronica for hosting this show for the AAPI community and um, wishing you a wonderful AAPI Heritage Month. And thank you for supporting the AAPI community. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you so much for your support. Um, um, the uh, of the special Asian American Pacific Islander AAPI Heritage Month for this month of May. Thank you Thank so you. much, Ashley. And. Thank you. Um,
and have a good day. Thank Bye. you. Bye. I'd like to welcome all of you to Baladna Jewelry. We have a very big selection of 21 karat gold jewelry imported from the Middle East, from Dubai, Saudi, and Bahrain. And we have a very big selection of diamond. We offer free financing for six months, and uh, we have a layaway system which you can leave your stuff for three months. We repair gold and we buy old gold. Welcome to Baladna Jewelry. Salamat Bo. Hello, CPRTV viewers. This is Pastor Ed Cortez of Faith Family Worship Center. Once again, sending you our greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, this uh, Today, I just wanna share with you a, a devotional from uh, Ephesians chapter 1, uh, beginning from verse 1 all the way to verse 14. And this is uh, some of the greatest passages that you will encounter in, in the Bible. And this is a, a, a praise, a, a worship uh, that Paul uh, was giving to God in response to what he has done and for all the blessings and the treasures that he has received from God. And he wanted the church, uh, specifically the church in Ephesus, to know uh, the wealth and the blessings that they have in Christ. And so in verse 1, Paul said, uh, Paul, this is him writing, he said, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints who are in Ephesus. And, you know, the term saints is actually... Uh, given to all those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time when he wrote this letter, uh, these saints of God are uh, were living, and they were not dead, they were alive. Uh, and so Paul uh, addressed this to them, and he said to the saints who are in Ephesus. So keep that in mind. The word saint means someone who is set apart uh, to be holy and to be righteous before God. And then he said, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, grace is, uh, the, the, the Greek word for grace is aris, okay, or charis, uh, but it's, it's silent C and H, it's aris. And then the, uh, the Hebrew word for peace is shalom. And so when Paul said, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, this is both a a greeting for the Jews, shalom, and also for the Greeks or Gentiles, aris. Okay, so this is this letter basically is for, for all of us um, Christians who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And then in verse 3, he said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Now, this is a mouthful, okay? And in the original Greek manuscript, when you look at Ephesians chapter 1, starting from verse 3 all the way to verse 14, it's actually one long sentence, okay? And Paul just kept going and 
and going and, and just so excited that he could not contain the, the joy that he has in his heart uh, when he started um, declaring or proclaiming the, uh, the treasures or the blessings that we have received from God the Father through his son Jesus. And so he said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, because he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. And what are these blessings? He went on to enumerate them, about eight or nine of these uh, wonderful blessings. Um, uh, and we can find them in, in these passages. He mentioned about um, us being chosen before the foundation of the world. Just, just come to think about that. Before the foundation of the world, God has chosen us. And then God has uh, accepted us into the beloved. He has adopted us into his family. And it says, if you keep on going, and we don't have you know much time to really go over all of these passages, uh, if you will just read all the way from verse 3 to verse 14, Ephesians chapter 1, uh, Paul went on to say, in addition to being chosen and being adopted and accepted, he said that we have been redeemed from, uh, from sin and we have been saved. And also uh, we have been forgiven from our sins and also that we have uh, received this wonderful inheritance from God. And not only these things, but he also mentioned, especially in verses um, uh, 13 and 14, that the Holy Spirit has sealed us and is the guarantee that what God has started in our lives, He will complete. And so, brothers and sisters, these are such tremendous blessings and uh, wealth, treasures that we have, or we will get, we will receive once we put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord. And you will receive all of these blessings once you do that. And so I just want to uh, bless you and I just want to encourage you today to give your life to Jesus because He is the only way, the truth, and the life. And no one can go to the Father except through Him. God bless you and see you next time. Do you need to get your hands on some extra money right now? Maybe 25000 or more? If you're a homeowner, now is a perfect time to get cash out, while homes in many neighborhoods like yours have gone up in value. You can use the money for anything. It's yours. You can buy an investment property, pay for college, pay off higher interest debt, or make home improvements. A cash out refinance is the perfect solution to get the cash you need. If you need $25,000, $50,000, or even $100,000, now's the time. Home values are up, and so is your equity. We offer you a way to use it. No need to sell your home or use your savings. Call New American Funding now and speak to a cash out refi specialist and see how much cash out you can get. Call New American Funding at 855-332-3929. That's 855-332-3929. Call 855-332-3929. How would you like to get high-speed internet for your home for less than $2 a day? That's right. For about 50 bucks a month, you'll get lightning fast internet. Are you paying less than 50 bucks a month right now for your internet? Then call Whole Home Connect right now for blazing fast internet at 50 bucks a month with no price increases, no hidden fees, no contracts, no equipment fees. It's a great deal. And guess what? You can try it for 15 days. If you don't like it, you get your money back. But you're going to love it. And you're going to love the price. Internet for your home for 15 50 bucks a month. That's less than two bucks a day. Plus, no contracts, no equipment fees, and our 15 day guarantee. Call now. Call 800 555 1212. That's 800 555 1212. Again, 800 555 1212. Don't wait. Call us right now. Good afternoon, this is Bridget Carino-Quetta bringing you this week's local news from our community. 
Ahead of Memorial Day weekend, Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Illinois Department of Human Services are launching a citywide crisis prevention and response unit, a highly mobile team that is specifically designed to prevent violence and address conflict in crises in the city of Chicago. The CPRU will coordinate with the community-based organizations of the city and state agencies to deploy 30-plus trained neighborhood peacekeepers and street outreach partners to provide essential assistance in de-escalation, conflict resolution, and crisis support across Chicago. The most important work we do is keeping our community safe, and that is another important step towards addressing violence and conflict through research-based community-focused approaches, said Governor J.B. Pritzker. Governor J.B. Pritzker has proclaimed May as Illinois Childhood Drowning Prevention Month, reminding parents of the importance of constantly supervising children when they are in or near water to avoid the tragedy of accidental drowning deaths. In 2022, 15 Illinois children lost their lives to accidental drowning, nine in pools, two in bathtubs, two in ponds, one in a creek, one in a lake. Seven of the children who drowned in pools were aged five and younger. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, drowning is the leading cause of unintentional death for children ages one to four, and the second leading cause of unintentional death for children ages one to 14. For every child who dies from drowning, another eight receive emergency department care for non-fatal drowning. Chicago is the nation's 15th most desired renting spot this month after climbing one position since April. It's also the sixth most in-demand city in the Midwest. Here's why. In May, apartments that were added to favorites jumped by a staggering 231% year over year. Prospective renters saved 23% more searches than this time last year, while views of Chicago listings rose by 5% within the same time frame, and high demand led to a 12% drop in available apartments year over year. This month, renters found Chicago more appealing than major cities like Washington, D.C., Boston, Seattle, Charlotte, or Houston. Nationwide, Kansas City, Missouri is the most desired city by renters in May, as apartment hunters added four times more listings to their favorites lists compared to this time last year. Detroit and Albuquerque came in second and third, respectively, according to RentCafe.com's listings activity data. On December 29, 2022, Kelly Mitchell was one of two lifeguards on duty at the C.W. Avery family YMCA when they noticed a woman in distress, so they extricated her from the water and activated the emergency action plan. Aquatics director Cindy Moss checked for signs of life and shocked the victim once using the AED. One of the lifeguards started compressions while Cindy and Kelly worked to secure and squeeze the bag valve mask. Then YMCA employee Lauren Tepper entered the pool area and stepped in to help with the mask and keep the airways open. Cindy took over compressions, did three more cycles, and then shocked the victim with the AED for a second time. She continued compressions until Plainfield police arrived and shocked the victim for the third time. Plainfield police took over compressions. Lauren kept hold of the BVM and Kelly continued to squeeze the bag until EMS took over. Because of their fast acting work, the victim survived and is still an active member at the YMCA. The life-saving award for professional responders is the highest award given by the Red Cross to individuals or group of individuals who save or sustain a life using skills learned in a Red Cross training services course. The Certificate of Extraordinary Personal Action is bestowed upon individuals who lack Red Cross training, but nonetheless step up during a time of an emergency to alleviate suffering. The Asian Cultural Council announced its 2023 fellowship and grant recipients, awarding 30 grants totaling more than $750,000 in its four programs, New York Fellowships, Individual Fellowships International, graduate scholarships, and organization and project grants. 
The multifaceted support provides artists, scholars, and arts professionals with funding and opportunities for research and cultural exchange between Asia and the U.S. The 10 2023 New York Fellows are from China, Hong Kong, Japan, the Philippines, and Taiwan. During their six-month New York City-based stays, the artists pursue a diversity of projects from targeted research to open-ended explorations. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our news this week. This is Bridget. See you next time. Tax audits, tax liens, wage garnishments. Every day we hear stories like this about good folks who are simply struggling to pay their bills. Each of them are living a frightening IRS tax nightmare, and they are afraid it will destroy their lives. If you're struggling with your own tax nightmare, we've got great news. The Tax Relief Line is here to help you. Now you have a knowledgeable, professional team of tax experts that are ready to negotiate with the IRS and fight for you to save you money. The Tax Relief Line's professionals have successfully negotiated thousands of cases, reducing and sometimes even eliminating the tax debt for their clients. It's very easy to get started. Simply call the number on your screen right now. You don't have to live in fear anymore. The call and the consultation are free. And that's our show for today. Thank you all for watching Chicago Philippine Reports TV. We hope you will stay safe and enjoying this day with your family and friends. I'm Maria Gurley Pascual. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay and we'll see you back here next week.